Hello ICC family and friends. This is Jeff. This is John. With your ICC Midday Connection. Just a disclaimer, this was prepared last week before Trevor's sermon. We'd like to talk to you about grace today, which follows some of what Trevor talked about in his sermon on Sunday. Why is grace so amazing? My favorite song of all times is Amazing Grace. I think just about everyone is familiar with this song, Amazing Grace, written by John Newton, especially the first verse that goes like this. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch. Okay, oh. okay, bro, that's oh. enough. We're oh. gonna, we're all oh. gonna need grace if you keep singing sorry, like that. Sorry, you're probably right. You're probably right. All right, it goes on like this. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind, and now I see. <clears throat> Newton had it right. If you're going to use any adjective to describe God's grace, it may as well be the word amazing. God's grace is amazing. And I believe that when, truly, when we truly understand the meaning of God's grace, we will respond by praising with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Here are three facts that we need to understand about God's grace. God's grace is greater than our sin and our past. God's grace displays his unlimited patience. God's grace should motivate us to pers persevere in our faith. God being rich in his mercy because of our great because of the great love with which he loved us even when we were dead in our trespasses he made us alive together with Christ and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly place in Christ Jesus. So that in the coming ages, we might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing, it is a gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Every follower of Christ should have an understanding of the word grace on the tips of their tongue. Grace is the atmosphere in which our relationship with God lives. The followers of Jesus Christ have been singing about and reveling in the truth of God's grace for 2,000 years. This is one of the crown jewels of Christianity. <clears throat> While all believers have a God-given measure of faith, Romans 12, 3, what saves us is the works, the work God's grace accomplished in Jesus Christ. No matter how big or how small our faith, it could not be effective if God wasn't graciously willing to save us. We are saved by grace through our faith in Christ. The last two phrases drive home the point. <clears throat> not a result of works, so that no one may boast. If it's all God's work by God's grace, there's no room to be to claim we contributed to anything to our salvation. Grace saving us through faith means we stop working to try to save ourselves. Grace is unmerited favor. It is in no way a result of your performance, your attitude, your victories, or your defeats. Why is the fact that it is undeserved important? If you had to earn it, you could lose it, or more likely, you would never get it in the first place. If somehow you received salvation because of what you did, it wouldn't be grace. It would be wages or reward. Whether you have been living in victory or defeat, if you are in Christ, God has graciously set his love upon you, and that is truly amazing. <clears throat> Let me wrap up with this. If you had to describe your own experience of God's grace, where would you start? And finish this sentence, if you would. I know God's grace is amazing because... Let me close this in prayer. Father, my prayer is that you will grow in, we will grow in all understanding of God's grace. We will also grow in our praise 
of our great God who gives us such grace through Jesus Christ. Father, your grace is amazing to us because the more we understand what you have done from us apart from anything we could ever have done, the more we are convinced of our own helplessness. Thank you through that though we were lost, <clears throat> you came and found us. We were sold into sin, but you bought us back. We were determined rebels, but you won us over. This was all you. We are looking forward to an eternity of appreciating just how amazing your grace has been towards us. Lord, I would ask now for your healing power to be present in our nation and around the world dealing with this coronavirus. Father, thank you for your presence in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.